questions three, four, and five look at uh, this general area of the map, and specifically these sort of teardropped or elongated features. So the first thing they talk about, and I'll, I'll kind of sketch it over here, they're kind of teardrop shaped, kind of like this, uh, maybe like an inverted spoon. And if you look at the topography, they kind of get taller uh, at the, the broader end up like that. And if we looked at it in cross-section, if that would be the flat land surface, it would have a shape that looks something like that. And that's the classic uh, shape of a glacial feature uh, that's called a drumlin. And so of the features listed on the test, this is the only one that really makes any sense. And the characteristic feature again is sort of the spoon shape and that they have um, one high area. Uh, so glacial um, deposition in origin and the general compass direction well, you guys know mostly that north is to the top of the map. East has to be over this way. South is at the bottom of the map. And of course, west is over here. And so this feature is mostly lined up in this compass direction. So the general compass direction or orientation of the feature would be to the north. 